Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of mine. For those that don't know me, I'm Craig and I'm a serving soldier in the British Army within the Household Cavalry Regiment. And today's a bit of an update um, on what's been going on. You know, a couple of exciting things to say today, um, which you might sort of know, but I've never actually really spoke about it. And just to talk about a subject that uh, my friends keep bringing up a lot, especially the ones that have got kids. So. You can mostly tell by the title what that is, but first of all, uh, me and Amber went and saw Aladdin last night. Um, good film. Didn't think it was amazing, um, but at times it was really funny. You know, I'd still recommend it. So if you haven't gone to see Aladdin, definitely get yourself down to cinema and go and watch Aladdin. So that's the first thing. Second thing is I'm off to get a new car today. So I'm going to do a bit of video in with that. You know, it's nothing amazing, but it's gonna help me with what the next news is. So, Drakey's actually mentioned it in one of my videos. Um, I've not really publicly spoke about it, but me and Amber are expecting our first child. Uh, she's actually due very, well, not soon soon, but it won't be long, middle of July. So, like I said, she, we're having a little girl. We have decided on a name, but I'm not gonna just say that just at this moment. I'm gonna hold that back for a bit, but yeah, we're expecting our first child and it's been a really busy and exciting time. Um, I will show you the nursery in a bit. I'm literally just on my way into work now, so when I get home later to get ready to pick up the car, I'll show you the nursery and show you what we've got. So all you um, expecting dads or soon to be dads, you can have a look at what we got and see if you want to pick any ideas from that. So that brings me on to the next subject then. That is, um, oh, just camera, covering the camera with my thumb. Uh, the next subject is dad bods. It's getting brought up a lot, uh, especially with the lads at work, because they know I'm really into my fitness. So, they're like, you won't have time. You're going to get a dad bod. Everyone gets a dad bod. And I'm like, I don't want to get a dad bod. Uh, and I'm going to prove everyone that you don't have to get a dad bod just because you're having a child. Yes, it's a majorly busy time. Um, I know that and I've researched that, but... Like one simple step I'm taking, and I've been doing for a while now, it's just walking or running into work. It's two miles from me for home to work. You know, so I just get up a little bit earlier and walk or run into work. If it's too far for you to walk or run, drive in and then stop a couple of miles out and then just walk in. You know, so that's one way that I'm um, going to help do that. Because, you know, first of all, if someone wants to lose weight and I see how active they are, and they're not very active. I'm just like, I'll get 10,000 steps in, walk more, and then we look at doing more. Then we're adding a few exercise sessions. So that's how I'm, one way I'm going to do it is walking and running into work, to and from work. So I'm walking today because we've got PT this morning. So I don't want to run and do what I'm doing. So I'm going to do a leg session. So like I said, yeah, I've got a leg session. So walking and running into work. Um, and then another way I'm going to do it. So. For the evenings it's going to be a struggle and I want to go to see the little one, spend a bit of time with her after I finish work. So, and help out obviously Amber around the house. So the other thing I've started doing is going to the gym on a lunchtime. Um, you know, I get an hour, hour and a half sometimes for lunch. Normally an hour, that's what it should be. If you can get away from work early, why not? So I'm going to go to the gym on a lunchtime, you know, smash out a good session. And then that's another way I can get my fitness sessions in without having to sacrifice, still hit my goals but still helping out Amber as much as I can and spending as much time um, with my little one, which is what I really want to do. So that dad bod's not going to happen. I'm not going to get it. I am bulking, so I'm putting a little bit of fat on. I'm not going overly. I'm not doing this dirty bulk that I used to talk about years ago and what people do. You know, I'm trying to keep it quite clean. So I'm actually going to give you a physique update um, a bit later when I get home. Um, I'll show you my car, I'll show you the nursery and then I'll talk a little bit more on the subject of the dad bod but for now I'm going to go, so catch you in a bit The new car The Fiat Tipo That's alright A bit better than your bar for the little one So check out the boot space, look at that, very practical, very dad-like compared to the Abarth 
actually get stuff in it. So we've picked up the new car, absolutely loving it. Uh, I know it's a Fiat, I normally go for a Fiat because um, I've had quite a few Audis in the past and I had my bath. But this is a lot more spacious and a lot more um, family orientated. But I do have to say, like, well done to Fiat. Very spacious. I've driven it back home. Very smooth to drive. Um, it's got, you know, everything possibly you can think of on it um, that I need. So I'm really happy with it. I'm just going to show you what we've got. So I'm just going to turn it on. So you've got your seven inch touchscreen display, which I had in the above, but it's really good to see it in here. Okay, so click accept. Okay, you've got your DAB radio or FM if you want it, KISS, KISS Dre, um, all your media so you can hook up your phone to it. So I've got the Bluetooth set up so it is hooked up, so I've wanted to play it through that. But I have got the cable set up here in the USB port as well, so I pretty much connect my phone up through that, through Android Auto, and I can play everything through that, and even my Google Maps will come up on the on the touch screen display as well or if I don't want to use my Google Maps it does have a built-in sat nav as well which is a TomTom -tom. it's not a live update so I don't get the live um, live uh, feed like live traffic feeds but it is TomTom -tom and Tom's very good they're very well renowned uh, sat navs so um, really happy with that so if I go back out of that click radio into reverse you got your reversing camera with your sensors as well as you can see the boots open as well so I need to close that but as you can see it's got reverse parking sets and reverse cameras so really happy with that you know it's all a digital display as well most of it so your speed comes up there and then you've got your standard controls got cruise control if you wanted that on just let it focus speed limit control so if you're doing um like an average speed camera zone just put your speed limiter on okay and you can set that i've got that set at 50 but i'm going to turn that off your 12 volt as standard in most cars two cup holders i'll have a cup holder for your coffee in the mornings nice little compartment there it's actually quite deep look at that get my whole hand in there and then i got my armrest back i never had the armrest in the bath and I missed it. I love a good armrest, especially when doing motorway driving. Six speed gearbox, manual, and then we've got climate control as well, which set your temperature here, which is perfect. Once again, I didn't have this in a bath, but if I've had in most of my past cars as well. So turn the aircon on, change it to whatever you want, and then turn it up there. Rear windscreen and then max windscreen on the um, windscreen max windscreen for the windscreen in the wind so okay so just turn it down there like really happy with it and then you're standing there city okay city comes up on there okay that just basically makes the power steering a lot more lighter uh so that's the pretty much the car there it's like really spacious like i said really happy with it um love the interior love the seats you know the steering wheel is really smooth it's really smooth to drive so i'm going to just show you the setup we got in the back because now i have a dad car as you can see there with the mirror i'm a proper dad now so just show you the little setup we got in the back and here we go here's the setup so we've got the car seat just behind the passenger seat uh where it's most probably safest or in the center safest but we put it behind the passenger seats because we've got the iso fix okay so this is the base um, I think it's a maxi cozy family fix base again. It just makes the car seat a lot more secure. So if any of you are soon to be fathers or mothers, then check out getting these um, ISO seat base, um, ISO fix bases, and it helps as well. So if you just give me two seconds, see if I can get this. Then I'm just going to put the camera down, and there you go. You get the handle out. Okay. So having the base. Okay. Yeah, we are going to put the seat belt round anyway as well so the seat belts here it's just stuck behind the chair i need to get that out actually um, that must have been from where they were cleaning it but if you basically put the seat belt around you can just unclip the seat belt and then lift it up it's quite hard to do with my hands okay and then it just enables you to get it out so just like so but it's quite hard to do with one hand and then 
all you've got to do is just click it in, three lights come up and you know it's all secure and nice and safe. So highly recommend getting an ISO fixed base. And the car seat, we've got the mirror so we can see, look at this we've got as well, it's like a little set. So we can put a bottle and any other sort of stuff in there. When she's old you can put an iPad in there, so if you're on a long journey she watched. And then you've got your, you most be hard to see. But your sun visors okay because I haven't got privacy glass. Uh, so that's the car, really happy with the car. Uh, all set to be a dad now with the family hatchback, all set up with the car seat in. So just in the baby's room now. So I'll give you the physique update. So we've got the car, the pram, best thing about the pram, look what you can get. Good old cup holder for the coffee. So don't spill any coffee on the baby. Just a drawer changing mat and the wardrobe so there's a nursery all set up okay so I'm just going to go into a physique update and hopefully I can stay away from getting that dad bod so here's where I am that now you can see holding a bit of fat um, but I'm at my heaviest I've ever been so I'll put a picture up now so you can see what I was a couple of months back okay so this is trying to work it around doing lots of cardio at work so I've lost the abs slightly because I am trying to eat more calories because of the amount of cardio I do for work but I wanted to put it on my lats and my shoulders and I feel like I definitely am because they're my weakest points so you know there's a physique I'm sitting at around 91 kilos now just under 91 kilos it's the heaviest I've ever been it's about 14 stone 4 14 stone 5 before I couldn't break the 14 stone mark so well happy with that so bring it back on my face uh, so yeah so you know your friend keeps telling me you're gonna get the dad bod you're gonna get the dad bod I'm hoping I'm not going to so well I'm not hoping I know I'm not going to I'm gonna do those simple steps I start training at lunchtime and then I'll get some sessions in on the weekend like early morning or something um, when Amber's got a little and and then yeah walk to work run to work you know that's a great way of burning fat and then yeah so hope that's helped, you know, all you seem to be dads, congratulations. You know, if you've got fitness goals, then go and achieve them. Don't let having a child stop you, you know, do it for them, do it for yourself. So hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to click the like and subscribe button and notifications bell for more of my future content. And I'll catch you in a bit.